What's up, what do guys? We back with another good, interesting, short, not so short, short video. Show y'all this uh new car we just picked up for the for a decent amount. I ain't gonna say it was for the low. But, uh, it wasn't bad. So good thing about this car, man. Motor and trans is supposed to be good. Motor good for sure. I heard it run. But I wasn't able to put it in drive, but bam. We got this here clean Fleetwood. Yeah, man, that thing clean, clean. Got did this last night on the on the trailer. Hopefully I can scrub that out. But uh, I'm definitely gonna scrub them tires clean. Good old fat white, good years. The tint is purple. Which I ain't I already couldn't see. I've seen it at like seven o'clock in the morning. So it just looked just real clean to me. But uh yeah, I'm gonna just literally put a battery in this car, get it cleaned out, and get the car fixed. Surprised this dog ain't barking today. But uh, I'm gonna let, I'm gonna pull it up a little bit so I can wash it for y'all. Change this battery, show y'all what it's doing. It's been repainted. You can tell from right there. Somebody's taping. Uh, I don't know what I did with the key. I probably left it in there. Nah, I got it. Got it in the house. But uh, it's water getting in here. I have to find out where. Or we'll try to find out where. I can smell the inside of the car from right here. Um, the trim, I, I think, matter of fact, I think you see the trim in the trunk. But uh, the car don't look all that bad. I didn't even see this. Somebody bust the armrest, put the arm on it. Leather. Probably plush that up a little bit. So if anybody sees something that I might be missing and you got it, definitely let me know. Yeah, so that that rear mirror is what went right there. Now I'm guessing that's where that cable that's hanging you connect to this. Yep, connect right there. It's for the compass and all that tell you where you're going. But yeah, I definitely smell water. And for what I can see, it could possibly get in right here. You know. Mm. So that's something I can see. Could be getting in here bubbling up if i can find somebody to replace this rag top pretty cheap i'll go with it if not then so be it but uh if i can't find nobody i'm not taking the top off oh no man pretty clean car pretty clean get that shoe get that shoe girl you didn't see this car you just seen it today I didn't even see it. All right, man, we back. So uh, I got the battery changed out. About to get my battery tested and test this out because I actually need a battery for, for my radio system that I got. Yeah, I got the booming system right here, but can't play it because uh, we left my battery in Kansas. It's in J-Rock shop. But uh, yeah, I'm gonna test it out. See, I mean, I'm pretty sure it's bad. See, if, if it's too bad to where you can't take the battery off, then I won't use it, but uh, I mean the charger off. But if it's not, then I'm gonna use this for my for my little system. But uh, tie these in. I'm gonna show y'all what it do. In about five minutes. All right, I'm back. I just got a estimate on some concrete for the lift and possibly putting a, a building in the backyard because uh, I sure need the space. But um, just like I thought, it's a Rochester, Rochester. I don't know, really know how you supposed to say it. But uh, it's that OEM style car. I actually have two of these just sitting there over there um, on the shelf. Um, Y'all see right here, anytime you see that brown, that means it overheated, radiator bust or something like that, man. But the guy said the radiator was replaced. But I don't know if that was before or after because you can see that it is pretty silver in there when, when it's usually black. But um, whatever that is, it's going to be a simple fix because the oil is black so it's not gonna be a big problem 
the water pump looked like it was replaced. Anytime you see it rusty like that, it was recently replaced. When it's not black, straight black, or everywhere, it means it was recently replaced. All right, now I'm gonna show y'all what it's doing. Pat the gas. Oh, I got the keys in my pocket. I don't even know. I don't even know how I had these keys in my pocket actually, because uh. Yeah, I don't know how I had these keys in my pocket. Matter of fact, I do, because I put everything else in my pocket on the counter, and then I just took all the stuff off the counter and put it back in my pocket. That's how I got these keys in my pocket. When I went to work, I was like, I got some old GM keys in my pocket, man. Well, I'm packing the gas, show y'all what to do. Say when you tap the gas, it cut off. So it's definitely a car float issue. See, it doesn't stay idle. So that'd be a pretty simple fix. I'm not fixing it. Yeah, like I say, I'm not fixing it, but uh, it's gonna get fixed. Oh, it's driving. So, fuel delivery issue. Fuel delivery issue, I couldn't drive it all the way here. Uh, I didn't really feel safe, but he showed me that it cranked with a jump box, and I was like, hey, it's pretty much good to go to me but uh now that i see the coolant it's gonna get a cooling flush oil change um the fuel issue fix the battery has been replaced now uh interior clean a nice wash and then for sale she go so uh i mean this is the first episode of flip cars for this car the next episode should be everything getting done and then it'll be up for sale but uh i'm gonna start it again move it and push this thing all the way to the edge of the driveway over here uh, I bought all the stuff to wash it and I didn't actually wash it so maybe that'll be in the next video in a week or two because after I dropped this video I'm jumping back on this cutlass finishing all the wiring on the system and the console then uh, I got two consoles that I owe people three finishing all that up then I'm gonna drop the motor and transom box Chevy get that started so I can get it out of here and then getting ready for the big drop off when I go get the Chevelle Tahoe and J-Rock truck so we can get that in here get everybody running tip top uh Chevelle I'm not gonna start you I gotta get my money up for that but uh more interesting stuff coming in but the lift will be in probably like two days I'm done with this so I'm pushing this back over I will put it over there but uh hey did the guy leave me his plates I feel like I'm talking too much for y'all need the guy left his plates yep they always do sucker <laughs> if you ever say your car take your plates well, I'm going to give them back to him, just not yet. Because if I sell the car and I need to drive on the street, hopefully up the rest registration too, and not to use my own insurance. But uh, floating titles is illegal in some states, so you can't get away with it everywhere. But uh, yeah, that's it for the Cadillac, man. Get the fuel issue fixed, clean it, and it's good to go. I'll probably put some plugs and wires on that, but you know, if it ain't broke, you don't supposed to fix it. So. It does actually run pretty good. It's a little bit shaky, but that's probably because it's cold. And yeah, I'm just rambling, so. And yeah, I'm just rambling, so. That's it, man. Flip Cars is back. Definitely old, new. Anything that look like it, it's worth some money. Don't need too much work. We're going to take it and flip that thing. I'm out. Runner!